What is an SA302 and how do I go about getting one? Hi, I'm Kimberly Shapcock, Qualified Chartered Accountant, Property Investor and Entrepreneur. Let's sit down and have a chat. SA302s, what are they? So SA302s are the historic reference to basically something that just confirms your income from Haitian Revenue and Customs. Now SA302s, the formal document as they used to be, was ceased a number of years ago. And historically, you would request from one from HMRC, and having requested it, they'd send you a copy in the post. Now, that ceased a couple of years ago. So, what can you get now which fulfills the requirements when you're asked to get one? Before we jump into that, let me just explain why you may need one. Now, anyone who's investing in property and getting a mortgage will probably have been asked this question from their broker. And the reason that your broker's asking is because the mortgage lender, the bridge lender, wants to just get confirmation from a third party of what your tax position is. So this may be, what does it actually say on your tax return? Can they confirm what your income actually is? What's your tax position in terms of, do you owe the tax man any money or are you all up to date with everything? So this leads on to where the documents have changed. And from getting a paper form from HMRC, which usually took a couple of weeks to do, now it is slightly different. And it depends on one thing. Do you use an accountant or are you doing it yourself? If you are doing it yourself, you will need to make sure that you have your HMRC login. And on your HMRC login, you will be able to download a tax calculation. And that tax calculation will form part of two documents that you will now use for your SA302 or kind of proof of income with HM Revenue and Customs. Now, that tax calculation will basically show you what tax has been calculated and what income you are declaring. The second part of the SA302 is all about showing your tax position. So this is what's known as a tax overview and you'll be able to download this from HMRC in a specific area. So when you log in, you'll be able to see this. I'll show you that in a moment. So when is it different? Well, it's different when you use an accountant. As you're not going to be putting all that information onto HMRC's website, it cannot generate all of the information for you. So what do you need to do in this circumstance? Well, in this circumstance, you'll need to ask your accountant for a copy of your tax calculation, as you can't download that from HMRC's website. Now, if it's anything like myself as an accountant, we send the tax calculation with the tax return. So you'll have a copy of that, hopefully when your tax return is completed, which is a document that will show how your tax has been calculated. Now, the second step of this is still your tax overview. Now, an accountant will be able to get a copy from your online portal to download this, or you will also be able to get this from HM Revenue and Custom yourself as well. This is something that is accessible to you as well as your accountant. So the only key difference here is that you're going to need that tax calculation from your accountant. So if you don't automatically get it, then you'll just need to ask them for it and they'll be able to provide a copy so that you've got everything you need to give to your broker. The final thing to mention is depending on when you're doing a mortgage or a bridging or a lending sort of application, it will determine which year you need to do. Now, many ask for between two to three years worth of SA302s, which hopefully shouldn't be a problem. However, depending on the time of year you do it, you'll probably need the latest year. So after the sixth 5th of April, should I say, the end of the tax year, they'll be wanting your most recent tax return. Now, maybe in April, May, if you're doing an application, they may not need the latest one as it's only just finished. But as you get further and further through the year, they will definitely need your most recent tax return information, which means you need to make sure you keep your tax returns up to date and you're on top of everything that you need to be. If you have any questions, then do ask your accountant and do ask your finance broker. 
and they will make sure you understand exactly what you need should you be doing a lending application so that you can get your finances all in order to get everything you need for your lending. Hopefully today you've discovered what an SA302 is, what constitutes it and when you need to ask for one and what you need to get. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the box. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's make tax less taxing. Let's tax.